Good morning, adventurers. We're just on our way heading out to head to downtown Anchorage again. They're actually having the Iditarod yeah, starts today. starts today. today. We Which, thought the, the sled dog races last weekend were it, but apparently the Iditarod is like the big yeah. sled dog event. So if you're not familiar with it, it's like a world famous uh, dog sled dog race. Yeah. It's so they, like a thousand miles, right? Yeah, I think it's a thousand yeah. miles and they do like the ceremonial start here in Anchorage, but they actually start, it's at, I think in a little town 80 miles north and they go all the way up to Nome. And apparently they go like through blizzards and like freezing yeah. weather, like it can get to negative 100. It's pretty insane. Yeah, it's an epic race. Yeah. But we're gonna head downtown and scope it out. They have this um, event going on called the Fur Rondi. Mm -hmm. And there's gonna be all kinds of weird goofy stuff going on down there. And uh, I think we're gonna eat some uh, reindeer hot dogs. Yeah, maybe. we heard that they're pretty famous downtown. Yeah. So we're gonna, gonna try those out and then maybe see real life reindeer, sorry, in advance. <laughs> But we're actually staying in this new place for a few days here before we leave Anchorage. We'll give you guys a proper look around when we come back. I think we're going to come back and cook a dinner or yeah. something. Yeah. Our one last final home cooked meal in Alaska. Actually, we just bought all these ingredients the other night and then it didn't have a kitchen. So we've been toting around a whole dinner with us. And now tonight is the night. And we'll show it to you because it's pretty delicious. All right. Let's go take Alaska by storm. how deep some of the snow is this is up to this is up to my waist easily that's crazy <laughs> it's I guess deep it's from the plows but yeah there's a lot of snow and it, there was fresh snow last night it's yeah to start snowing again here soon you just can't escape it here no ah! so, whoa so my shoes are not very grippy <laughs> y'all check out these boots though that i got from goodwill for nine dollars i feel like i'm wearing like poodles on my feet but <laughs> they're they, doing the job though yeah they're amazing We found the dogs, y'all. <laughs> They're so coming many. right through here, through the center of town. Yeah, they made this amazing track here. I was worried because a lot of the streets are bare in town now, but man, they, this is pristine looking. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But they're just going by and like high-fiving all the kids and stuff. And it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty cool. cool. It's just like, yeah, I guess because it is ceremonial. So it's nice and slow. There are hundreds of people out here for this thing. They've transformed the downtown area into a giant dog sled track. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Cool. And we're only like halfway, or not even halfway. We've just walked a few streets with yeah. this many people. I think all downtown, we'll buck, we're gonna go check it out, but I think there's gonna be tons and tons of people today. Three, two, one, go! She's the queen of the Rose Hall Dogs, Vanessa! Beauty Channel is a giveaway! Thank you so much! Alright guys, sorry it's a little loud here, we've got the announcer in the background, but Adam and Sherry last night said that reindeer hot dogs are a big thing here and we found a little kiosk called Yeti selling these bad boys. So they cook them fresh right in front of you. They give you all sorts of toppings to put on there. So we're gonna try it, our first reindeer hot dog. Little late start and shoot beginning at 2 p.m. Public parking is available at the Oh man. Yo, oh, that is so good. It's super juicy. I'd say it tastes like a mix between like a beef and a pork hot dog. It's not gamey at all or anything. It just tastes like a delicious, wonderful, thick sausage. So I opted for pickles, a little bit of Dijon, and some cheese on the top. Kept it nice and simple. That's delicious. We've been 
We're setting up, like trying to get these shots, and we thought it was going to get cold, but it's actually pretty warm still. It's super juicy in there, deliciously like oily. I think that I would have guessed it was just like a pork sausage, I think, but it's super tasty. And I think mustard was a good call. It was between mustard and ketchup, and I think I think I made the right call. Y'all got so excited to eat, I forgot to tell you it was on mine. So mine has deliciously grilled onions. I put some sauerkraut on there, jalapeno mustard, ketchup, and a little cheese. Oh man, it's amazing. The buns are actually delicious they're, too. They're really good quality. Also, the sausages are made here locally, so that's pretty sweet. Two, one, go! I'm going, I'm going! Wow, those hot dogs were insanely delicious. They were so good. Oh, so I forgot that I had the reindeer sausage in my beer cheese soup the other night. It's a lot like that one. It's nice and peppery yeah. and just oh, like yeah, it is, really it? oily yeah. and great. I was sad when it was over. Those were only a $5.50 a piece. And uh, it's a pretty substantial hot dog, so not too bad. We had, hot dogs are really popular in Iceland as well. And we had them there and we, we didn't really rate them that highly. No, they were really small, Yeah, really expensive. And you had to buy a couple of them, but these ones were actually excellent. So definitely check out Yeti Dogs if you come to Alaska because I think they're all over the place. I think they have food trucks. We learned the other day that some of the sidewalks here in downtown Anchorage are actually heated. Isn't yeah, that nuts? so that they stay clear so that people and visitors can walk on them without yeah. falling and potentially dying. So I dying. guess this is one of them. So yeah. you can see the line of snow right where the heating stops. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wondered if that was a thing. It seems kind of impractical and not worth it, but I mean. I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool though because we, most of the time we're walking on the sidewalks like whoop, whoop. <laughs> So it's Not nice here. to just, I can run on this. The snow is coming down out here and starting to properly accumulate. It is a winter wonderland if I've ever seen one. So uh, at the Fur Rondi, they have this thing called the running of the reindeer. Yep. And basically it's like the running of the bulls in Pamplona, but it's reindeer in Anchorage. Yeah. We were going to participate, but it was a little too expensive. Yeah, We've see, been spending a lot of money up here. Yeah. so. It's like $30 per participant. Yeah. But they have different classes. So you can do like the men go, women go, couples and groups, and then tourists. Yeah. But <laughs> um, it's a really fun thing. Everyone dresses up in costumes yeah, and stuff. We've already seen, seen a few people. costumes around. Exactly. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to head over there now and see what it's all about. Watch some people get reindeer antlers up their butts. We just made a quick stop in the gift shop to pick up some postcards for our Patreon subscribers. They have pretty much the best ones I've ever seen. <laughs> Check that out. Man. I mean, does it get better than that? It's just beautiful. <laughs> Look, you got, you got the, the northern lights northern in there. Northern lights, the freaking wolves. Oh yeah. We got some, I don't know if these, these must be reindeer. Yeah, I think so. And then some bears. Bears, we got moose. Moose, of course, or wolves. Little huskies, look oh, how yeah. cute they are. So if you'd like to receive handwritten postcards like this from the places that we visit, head over to our Patreon page. There's a certain tier on there where we'll send these to you guys. And there's also a bunch of other little perks that you can sign up for as well. Yeah, but don't judge my handwriting, please, because it's not the greatest. <laughs> guys, everyone's been walking around with ears, and now I finally have some. Courtesy of Alaska Communications. Yeah, go check them out. I don't know. We are at the start of the run. There are a lot of people here wearing all manner of outfits. Some people are in freaking shorts, y'all. These people are intense. Yeah, this is gonna be a blast. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect.
that was easily one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. So, but I don't even understand. It's so crazy. Was it what you expected? Uh, yeah, a bunch of people in costumes running with reindeer. It's about covered it, yeah. I'd say it was so. amazing. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't do it because a lot of people were wiping out out there and it looked really oh, yeah. painful. And if you get poked by one of those horns or if you fall and everyone tramples you, like, that would suck. Yeah, one guy fell and he looked up and there were two reindeer coming after him. He was real scared. <laughs> he got out of the way real quick. But yeah, well, we, we saw it. Maybe we came and we saw it. Alaska that's happened yet. Yeah. After we left downtown, we just came back to the place that we're staying. We found the classiest Airbnb for our final stay here in Anchorage. So we just wanted to give you guys a quick look around before we cook some dinner. So we've got this huge living room area that's just got this really nice wood vibe and it's got wood floors. It's really cool. They have this awesome uh, seat here that I just feel like I need a glass of scotch or something. <laughs> come, come on, come along with me. Who, me? Come with you? Yes, you, the viewer, come along. So we've got our bedroom we've been staying in. This sucker actually has three different bedrooms. Three. Yeah, but oh my God, it's been so uncomfortable on this bed. It was like sleeping in a cloud, all right? I couldn't get out of bed, it was so good. And over here, I didn't even know this room was over here. <laughs> but, we got rooms on rooms, guys. Yeah. There's a whole other room back here with two twin beds. Yeah. Yeah, with a little green theme. Yeah. Very nice. And then the most important and amazing feature of this place, this gigantic kitchen. And we are going to be putting this thing to use right now because we have a bunch of groceries. We're gonna cook some dinner. For dinner, we have some delicious meatballs, some baked broccoli over here. And some delicious pasta. Oh, yes. Dude, I'm so hungry. This is gonna be so good. It's gonna good. be so good. And it's accidentally nine o'clock. Also, apologies for my appearance. I did work out earlier and I got a little sweaty. You better apologize for your appearance. <laughs> Tomorrow is our final day here in Alaska. Are you gonna be sad to leave or are you gonna be happy to get out of the cold weather? I'll be happy for it not to be snowing for a day, but uh, I am pretty sad. There's so many things that. We didn't get to do. Yeah, and we're gonna come back in the summer because there's a bunch of stuff you just can't do in the winter. Because but everything's literally frozen. Yeah, we've met so many cool people since we've gotten up here. A bunch yeah. of uh, YouTubers and all kinds of other cool there are people. Tons of creators up here, and they have a really great community. Yeah, it's I really feel like cool. We got a chance to meet a lot of locals. Yeah. At this time, which is great. Yeah, we we do that every now and then, but not like to this scale. I feel like every day we've been meeting up yeah. with awesome people. Sometimes it's harder to do, but luckily we've had people introduce us to other people here so it's made it a lot easier yeah. but anyways we're gonna chow down on this deliciousness we're gonna have another adventure uh tomorrow our final adventure and then we're gonna have a flight back to missouri to hunker down and get a little work done for you guys we'll go directly into we're actually we, we've booked a bunch of other travel which we'll tell you guys about but um when we get caught up you guys will be coming the video after this will be that so yeah does that make sense that yeah you sense. won't you won't <laughs> you won't be coming to missouri with us because i think we've exhausted every like fun and exciting thing to do in missouri yeah so we won't be vlogging but we'll be there and then we'll pick back up on the road with you guys good night adventures we'll see you on the road